Welcome back to this partial solar eclipse here on timeanddate.com. And um, let's just get up to date on where we are um, with this eclipse. So on our main screen here, we're having the uh, picture coming in from our timeanddate.com mobile observatory, uh, which is there in Denmark. Um, so where were we? Our maximum eclipse here in Denmark was around about 20 minutes ago. Mm. Um, maximum eclipse, it was 25%. Um, so now we're looking at the moon moving off mm. the face of the sun. In the top right corner, um, we have the image from London. Um, that's coming in from our friends at the Royal Observatory uh, in Greenwich. Um, maximum eclipse there was, well, that was about 40 minutes ago. Um, at most, it was 30%. We had some very nice images from there mm. around maximum eclipse. Uh, and again, there in London, we are coming towards the end of the partial eclipse. We should just mention the places that we haven't had mm. images from today. Um, mm. They've been fighting the clouds in Italy. Yeah. Uh, we almost got some images from uh, Siena, um, but the sun couldn't quite get through the clouds mm. um, there. Um, also um, in Genoa, um, we've been super cloudy there as well. Mm. Our friends up in northern Norway, um, well, we, we, we know that they were clouded out with, uh, with snow and rain. We did manage to get, just, just recently, mm. very excitingly, we did get some pictures um, from uh, Steiner Torvarsen um, in Kristiansand with the Agda Astronomy Club in southern Norway. Very exciting to see some pictures there mm. from southern uh, Norway. So um, yeah, we've had some, uh, we've had some mixed results. Mm. And today. last time yeah. I was talking to you, it was raining outside and I was thinking, no, nah, we're not going to see anything. But it's just gone max here in Stavanger and we ran out with our eclipse glasses to into the common area, saw the eclipse through our eclipse glasses. I was electric and ran in and told everybody else to go and see it as well so we're super excited over here and uh, we've been been bombed by friends and families showing us that they're watching the eclipse so <laughs> we're really happy because normally not 
very clear skies here at Stavanger. So we're super excited. Absolutely. That's right. That's right. And, um, and of course, the deepest eclipse anywhere in the world today was in Canada. And Anna, we did see some fantastic images um, from, uh, from Moncton, yeah. uh, Canada, a really lovely crescent sun mm. image that we had. Um, these were coming from the, uh, our, our wonderful team on the ground there in Moncton, Canada. This is Chris Cohen, Mike, Paul, Mike Powell, and Paul Owen. Mm. Um, they are the hosts of the Sunday Night Astronomy Show. And um, we are actually hoping to go across to Moncton and have a chat with them right now. Hey. hey, there they are in the sun. Uh, you've had a crazy time, you guys. You've been driving 150 kilometers to get clear skies set me up in the dark what's been going on with you guys oh yeah, that's been a busy morning for sure uh, we <laughs> were up here, um, the, the problem with the province was that about half the province uh, of new brunswick was clouded out and uh, we knew that we were risking the fact that we were going to stay in our original location and we weren't going to get uh, quite the view that we wanted so uh, we took a look here last night and we found out that we were going to have a, a small strip of clear sky and uh, away we came. So we're 150 <laughs> kilometers up to this area. We're sitting on the side of the road right now on the highway and <laughs> it's been about minus 15 to minus 20 Celsius with about uh, wow. 40 kilometer an hour winds. But we've been able to run the feed, so that's what was most important. So we were very, uh, very uh, grateful to be part of this, uh, this fantastic show that you're, you're putting on. And, and, and we're very grateful for having you. I know how hard it is to set those things up and in in the dark and eclipse sunrise, it, you couldn't have more difficult conditions. So what was the eclipse like on the ground? How did it look like from for you guys? It was, it was, it was amazing. It was just fantastic, guys. What do you think? Yeah, it was, uh, it was something to see. We, we, we uh, weren't quite sure exactly the angle we were going to get when it first came up. And, uh, but when it first came up, it was just almost like you almost saw a pillar mm. just starting to come up off the horizon. And then we got the, the big shark tip. And as, as soon as that came up, it was just absolutely amazing from there. And, um, not a, and it, it, we were fortunate enough to have just a little cloud scatter in front of it. So a lot of the first were able to get, um, uh, still shots were those beautiful, nice orange, uh, all the, sort of like the horns with that mm. lovely ground uh, foreground in the front and just wow. to view it was just absolutely amazing mm. so we're, I, i'm looking forward to seeing the photos really mm. oh yeah yeah wow wow and yeah and, and congratulations um on the images um that you got and um yeah as anna said thank you mm. so much for sharing those um with us today um no, i mean you've you've been doing an amazing job today but uh, we should say that you guys are doing an amazing job uh, every week um you run a weekly um astronomy show uh the sunday night astronomy show and besides that you're doing all kinds of outreach activities and educational activities connected to astronomies um, can you can you tell us a little bit about uh, what it is you do to promote astronomy? Sure. Well, uh, we we started out with the uh, before COVID, uh, just before COVID, we were three guys that went to a, a star party event, and we were we had a webcam with us, and we set it up on a telescope, and we said, well, would, wouldn't this be kind of nice to be able to offer this view, this live view of a galaxy, to people out on on YouTube? Uh, but then we realized that we were in the mix and. Uh, out of the last uh, 200 shows, we had two evenings that were clear on a Sunday night. <laughs> <laughs> and they were both in the summertime, which is, uh, so we offer our show at 8 o'clock at night time. And uh, in the summertime, of course, the sky isn't dark enough. So we had to come up with another idea. So we just, we just thought, well, well, we'll talk about a few guys sitting around the kitchen table talking about astronomy. And uh, that's the way we've, we've approached it now. We've just done over 250 programs now. Um, but we just uh, we just have fun with it. The three of us get together. We, we talk about astronomy. We have some, some guests on once in a while, but it's mostly just a, a beginner's audience to, to teach them how to use a telescope, to, to what, what what to look for in the night sky. Uh, we have a small section on there that 
Uh, Mike does a, a what we call a vinyl bud talk. He does a, 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 a he's going to talk about a, a binocular target of the week. So it's just kind of it's just kind of a fun atmosphere, and we we've all said that uh, when it stops being fun, we'll stop doing it. But <laughs> so far, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And I mean, you mentioned about the weather. I mean, you're actually in in really one of the most challenging parts of the globe for astronomy friendly weather conditions very much so um it's a very tough part part of the world to have well, this hobby <laughs> i think you guys have the same trouble or do you not you guys get a lot of a lot of rain and dark skies we do we do <laughs> yeah yeah that is that is true that is that that is absolutely true so um yeah yeah well it's um it really is fantastic um the work that you're doing there and once again we really just got to say thank mm. you thank you so much for um just everything you've done to bring us these mm. uh these amazing crescent sun images uh from moncton um mm. today it's it's been it's been great to see um so um yeah thank you thank you very much and and good luck with all your ongoing activities thank you so much we were uh it was a great pleasure to be part of this uh, fantastic program yeah yeah thank you so much thank you again chris paul and mike we still have another 30 minutes of the moon slowly moving off the sun's desk so keep watching and enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and we will be back again here soon <laughs>